gosh. Guys, we really uh, are glad you're here joining us. I'll take off the suspenders right about now. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we're with Roddy and, of course, with Matthew. And, uh, and you have an amazing testimony, uh, Roddy, uh, mm -hmm. from coming from the corporate world, going mm -hmm. into uh, off-grid living. And I think it's important for people to understand why you made that choice. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're here at your home, beautiful home you and your wife have built. And um, and everything here is off grid. I mean, would you think that, Mama? That, no. Uh, we call my wife Yana Mama, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I mean, to, to realize, so you have your own water, you have mm -hmm. your own electricity. Yeah. Um, my own sewer. My own, my own food looks like life <laughs> is totally modern he's mm -hmm. got air conditioning yep mm -hmm. uh, they do cook on a wood stove mm -hmm. but you have a backup with a gas stove and it's really hot yes because you don't want to cook inside when it's hot right I bad idea question how does your wife cook in <laughs> yeah. July? yeah out there <laughs> okay <laughs> So, uh, yes, we want to hear your testimony okay. from, your, from a corporate world and okay. how you made transition. Yeah so, especially. yeah, so my background was I come up in a career that I helped startup companies form. And I've done a lot of them. Um, the one that I left to do all of this was my 13th. So typically these companies would be somewhere between 100 million and 500 million in that range as far as size goes. And so I um, signed on to do a, this was 14 years ago, to help a financial hold, holding company form. And I ended up running uh, two financial holding companies, two life insurance companies, an investment company, a marketing company, and two agencies. And I managed about $150 million annually um, through these companies. We had, uh, at any given point in time, we had about 900 people on the payroll from coast to coast. Well, 32 states. So not literally coast to coast, but most states. And um, life was good. So my job basically was revenue. I was in charge of all money in, whether that's shareholder relations, sales, marketing, whatever. Um, so I ran that side of the company. And um, so back in uh, 2020, the CEO approached me and the CEO was the only person I answered to. So it was the CEO and then me. And uh, he said, hey, how do you feel if we mandate the vaccine for everybody? And so I replied to him. I said, I think this is a horrible idea. I don't think we as an employer have any ownership over the employees' bodies. But furthermore, I think this is going to open us up to lawsuits through the HIPAA laws and these kind of things at some point in time down the road. And I really just don't think that this is a wise decision for the company. And, uh, you know, I kind of, maybe it's me being naive, I kind of thought at that time that it would just go away, that that was the end of it. It wasn't. So a week later, um, I was reapproached and I was told that we would now mandate the vaccine for all employees and contractors. And that uh, the funny part, I didn't realize it at the time, but the worst part of that statement is he said that he thought it would come best if I did it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I mean, so it, you get to be, the, you get to be the bad guy mm -hmm. on top of it. On top of me already saying, I don't think it's a good idea. Now I have to be the one to deliver the message. And um, wow. yeah, which, you know, it's funny. I look back at that moment and I realize it was never about the vaccine. What it was about was control. Was I, was, would I be a good boy? Would I do what I was told? Right. Looking back. But anyway, so um, I said what you know anybody would say. I said, yes, sir, I'll get a meeting together. And I came home, told my beautiful bride. I said, hey, babe, life's about to change. <laughs> you know, and uh, that meeting day came. And, um, you know, so, it's just so interesting to think back at those days because I don't know if most people know this or not, but in the corporate world, everything is staged. Everything. So what's said, right, I mean, it's all staged. And so the CEO got up and he started talking about, you know, one team, one mission. We got to look out for each other. We got to protect each other, right? And this was his way of setting me up to do the mandating. This is just how it works, right? And um, so he went through all of that. He introduced me. And then I said, I love you guys. And we ain't mandating anything. And um, a little while later, I was escorted off and I lost my career that paid me, you know, $300,000 a year plus a whole bunch of perks. And I went from a great life to being unemployed, just like that. And so once that wow. happened, yeah, so once that happened, I started thinking to myself, you know, this just can't be. And that I'm never again going to put myself in a position to where one person has that kind of control or stroke over me. I have to take control of my own life. And so we built a 5,000 square foot super off-grid house and, and uh, continued to work on it, right? Because it's, it's certainly a process and uh, built freesteading so that other people, I could help them learn to take that step of eliminating the stroke. Because guys, we live in this, the worst case of slavery in history. 
Yes. They get us at every corner with easy credit. They get us at every corner with mandates. They get us at every corner with, I mean, think about all of the things you pay that are mandated to you. The average American's paying 59% of his income in taxes. And by the time that dollar reaches three transactions, the government's got all the money back. It's a scam. It's a lie. Money don't even exist. It's just a lie. I'm not doing it anymore, and I'm not going to be a refugee. I don't blame you at all. <laughs> so how's that? Goodness. That, that is... <laughs> Now, if you can elaborate, I, I really, the, the statement that you were making a moment ago that mm -hmm. everything is staged, mm -hmm. I have heard that. I mean, mm -hmm. right down, especially from mm -hmm. some of the sources I have, you know, yep. wars, everything, everything is staged. Everything. Mm -hmm. and, Nothing happened and, and by even accident. even when they would mm -hmm. talk about some of the things that I've heard about, like, for example, if, if, the, if the people in the government have to go before the media, mm -hmm. they have a script of what yes. they must say. Yeah. Now, and not, they're not allowed to deviate. Yeah. Not only do they have a script, but the questions the media is going to ask is, are we already it's know. It's scripted as because, well. Because yes. the, they have already given the media the questions to ask. Exactly. I've been told that as well. No, it's exactly. true. It's 100% true. And it seems like if occasionally they get off a script... And boy, feathers get rough. Oh yes, you know. And, oh yeah, and that's that person's right. gone. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and I've heard that that if you if you decide to deviate and if you're going to be mm -hmm. bold enough to do something like that, you won't be around. And it doesn't matter if you're Fox News or CNN no. or who it is. They're all the same. It's just a different, you know, a little left or a little bit yep. right. Right, because and and, you know, it's they'll buy your contract that. out and tell you to go home. Right, the, because one thing that was pointed out to me is that watch mainstream media when you have someone asking a question on mainstream media, every single network has the exact same question to mm -hmm. ask, maybe tweaked a little bit different. Mm -hmm. but all the way down to your local news. Yep. Yes. Yeah, if you stand up though, we'll cancel you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh my God, how do you know? Because <laughs> they did it. Okay, so when you say that mm -hmm. this is scripted even in the corporate world, mm -hmm. How, I, I, you know, I did not realize, well, I guess I should have because mm -hmm. the corporate world is what controls the government in the first yes. place. Yes. So I guess that's where it would really begin at yes. then is the corporate world. The corporate yes. world controls that and then yeah. they control uh, media. The media, yeah. of course, controls, uh, which I don't yeah. know which one controls which one, which yeah. way, but yeah. it, it doesn't it, matter it's at this together. point. It's okay. in every aspect. You know, yeah. even something so simple as a shareholder meeting, <clears throat> you know, we would spend weeks preparing for that meeting. And we would go through and we would talk about what we were going to talk about. And then the CEO, the guy in charge, would say, no, 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 you can't talk about this. Insert this. And the whole message is completely orchestrated. The whole thing all the way start to finish. And they build plans on how to yeah. segue if someone yeah. starts to talk about something they don't want to talk about. There's yeah. just a way to circle back around yeah. to what they do want to talk yeah, about. I'll let you in on another secret. I, and not, not the company that I left, but the one right before that. I was in a board meeting um, once and the chief operating officer said, how profitable do we want to be this year? It's not as simple as it is or it isn't. I'm telling you, if you if you follow the, tr the trail of a dollar in three transactions that never existed, it's not real. They get us convinced that it's real because we get a new refrigerator once in a while. They get us convinced that it's real. It's like equity. Equity is not real. The equity is a lie. The closer you are to the creation of that dollar is, is the better, better off right. you are. And, well, and we're not close to the No, no, no. As it trickles down, like all of the bailouts, all the TARP mm -hmm. funds, all of that pennies, literally pennies reach the middle class. Right. It's absorbed all up at the top on its way down by special interest and by all the things. The system is crooked. I'm telling you, it is all staged and the rise and the fall is staged as well. Mm -hmm. I promise you this you is true. You have questions. <laughs> oh, like rise and the fall, you mean economy, U.S. economy? Yes, they know right. way ahead of time of what's happening. They're not, guys, I'm telling you, they are super smart people. Yes, they are. They're not that, dummies. And that is true. They I mean, are. They know when they're, if they're going to yes. collapse the economy, they know when. Th this is mm -hmm. why one of the things that I argued about the Silk Road Initiative to mm -hmm. begin with is that this is the new economic system that's being built with mm -hmm. the BRICS nations, mm -hmm. et cetera. Yep. Yep. And that all that they have been doing, even, even when it comes to all the jobs that left America mm -hmm. in the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. and they went to the Far mm -hmm. East, that's because these wealthy uh, uh, business owners, mm -hmm. corporate owners, they knew that it was going to collapse. They knew that China would be mm -hmm. the new world superpower in the future mm -hmm. yep. and that America was going to collapse. Mm -hmm. So they've staged it from the beginning. I mean, even like mm -hmm. in the case of World War III, they planned heard, it. 2024 is supposed to be when officially mm -hmm. World War III mm -hmm. will begin. I've heard this. And you've heard that as well. I've heard this as well. But they bet that China would. I mean, this this is it's such an interesting thing. The fact of the matter is, if you just look at it from a, and I don't want to totally rant but it's okay if you it's look okay. at if you look at it from a geopolitical perspective china and russia can't hang with the united states i'm telling you they cannot do it no china put in a one-child policy 40 years ago and it's killing them 
-hmm. They are on the decline. If without intervention, they won't make it. Okay. Russia's in the same boat, but it doesn't matter because the powers that be and the elites are going to push their agenda. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the facts are. Makes no difference. Exactly. It's all a lie. Makes no difference. And so even now, the hegemony of the U.S. is being challenged everywhere globally. Mm -hmm. You know, China has already been pushing them out of the Middle East as well as Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, you have also the, uh, the entire uh, Pacific region mm -hmm. we're being pushed out of. Mm -hmm. And so slowly but surely, they want to destroy everything that this, that this country... Uh, yeah, I would take for. that a step further. We're pushing ourselves out of there because we're investing. We're buying those other militaries that are doing it to us. Well, it's okay, interesting we're doing you say that okay. because one of the things that I was told not too long ago is that even in the case of Ukraine, that we are provoking Russia of course to strike this country. Of course we are. Because they need this country to fall, so therefore we're provoking them. And if, if Putin, he, and he's, he's supposed to know his job and what he's supposed to mm -hmm. do and when he's supposed mm -hmm. to do it. But, for example, we send in all of our military equipment. We say we have advisors mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. but we're the ones running the missiles mm -hmm. going back and forth and yep. killing each other. And, and then we send special forces inside mm -hmm. of Russia yep. to sabotage. Mm -hmm. And then they say, oh, well, the Ukrainians, they're going in there and bombing yep. everything. No, they're not. We're doing it. Yep. Didn't He's, that what we did in Vietnam? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We sent in advisors for years, yeah. but they were actually doing more. And they were in other countries as well. Yeah. It's just wash, rinse, repeat. He, you know, Putin stood up and they're going to escort, escort him off stage. What's the difference? Oh, my gosh. So what is the next big thing on the horizon? Yeah. That you would think yourself, that, especially yeah. from your background, knowing what you know, mm -hmm. where you came from. Mm -hmm. Where do you think this is all going to go next? Yeah, I think it's so hard to say. I, I think that the one... You're not off grid for no reason. No. <laughs> no, there's no help coming, bud. <laughs> e e even if the... Let's say that the government wanted to help. They still can't. They don't have the, the logistical ability to come help us if something happens. We have to take our freedom. We have to take our safety. We have to put it in our own hands because there's nobody coming. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of things that they don't count on. You know, like they've got this perfectly laid out plan. Mm -hmm. You know, one plus one equals two and slot <laughs> A and, you know, tab B and all this. But what they don't understand is we, the American people, are a force to be reckoned with. And I'm not talking about from a violence perspective. I'm talking about from an economic perspective. If people would just wake up and realize that we can stop it right now if we choose where our dollar goes. If we stop shopping at Amazon and we stop shopping at Walmart and we turn our dollar into the actual vote, we will make huge ground. We do it right here in our community. You know, we have companies that are on the naughty list. We won't do business with them. We have companies that are on the nice list. We do business with them a lot. We get to choose. The only reason their system works is because we allow it. When are we going to wake up? When, when, when are the people going to stand up and say, you know what? No. Did you know no is a complete sentence? <laughs> There you go. Yes. <laughs> um, so tell us more about your community. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you make these communities? Yeah. And how do you cooperate? Yeah. How do you help each other? Yeah, so community is a... Matt can talk about this a bunch too. Community is a huge word, and it's used like freedom and liberty is, but I think that it's, it's just it's a super dynamic word. You know, I do... Um, I speak all over the country about COVID, about, you know, tyranny, about these kinds of things. Um, and I'm always preaching about community, 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 because at the end of the day with community, everything's possible. Because here's the thing. I can right now on my farm produce 70% of my needs right here. Well, where do I get the other 30? Through Matthew. trading. <laughs> right, through community. And so um, like on my channel, Life Done Free, we go and every piece of property that comes up for sale, I do a video on. In 2022, we moved six families from across the country into our community. Um, so far in 2023, we have two. I'm hoping to get to 10 before the year's up. But what's going to happen is, let's talk about it from a long-term picture. What's going to happen is we're going to take over the county commissioner spots. We're going to take over the school boards. We're going to place people in there who share our beliefs. And we're going to build a refuge right here. And then from there, if we can network that with another community that's in Nebraska and another one that's in Missouri and another one that's in South Carolina and North Carolina, we will create that parallel economy to where literally no is a complete answer. But we have to be willing to take a stand and and then we get one in florida and next thing you know in january you know someone's driving down there with direct from kansas to trade for oranges from yep. florida that's it yep. exactly and exactly. a lot of these communities already exist i know of ones in florida i know ones in georgia i know of ones in texas i know of ones in indiana that we tennessee. talk all the time what's that tennessee tennessee's got a huge community <laughs> huge community so here as far as the one here in kansas goes 
You know, we've got total members around here is about 900, but not all of them are super active. You know what I mean? And so the ones that actually push the buttons and make everything work, 50, 60 of us maybe. It's the 85, 50. Yeah, I mean, it's level, everywhere. But we get together, we do homestead rotations. You can go on my channel and see where they all came to my house. We put up firewood. We put up 13 and a half cords of firewood in seven hours. The well, whole big, community got together. Next weekend's a big camp out. Yep. I don't know when this is going to air, but. Yeah. Yes. We may end up airing this, especially this segment here, yep. because we are recording this now and we don't have the hoops that we need to go through. So mm -hmm. this here will probably air with this week. Yeah, I don't need to see this. You guys film all you want better. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so next week, the Midwest Preparedness Project will do its 20th event. So this has been going on for years. And um, we all get together and we just, you know, celebrate fellowship and we do big potlucks and barter town and we do, you know, classes and it's free to everybody. There's not a charge for anything. It's at a big and lake. You know, it's at a big lake right over there. here. And um, right. so, houses yep. and stuff. We so do showers this time of year. Even. Yep. But there's a lot of stuff we do. We do the Free Man Festivus, mm -hmm. you know, between Thanksgiving and Christmas every single year. We all get together to have our one holiday that does inter does not interfere with Thanksgiving or Christmas. Mm -hmm. We do the community holiday. We call it the Festivus. Um, but there's lots of these things that go on. Um, and not always so big. I mean, if Matt's putting a barn up, I can put 30 people together. I mean, just Saturday, Matt and I and a handful of other homesteads from around here, we're going to go cut firewood all day long. So we're going to do, we're going to work together because again, with community, everything is possible. And without it, none of it is. Exactly. It's just the way and, it is. And you're right. And this is where it's going to have to go because yep. some of the things that we are facing, you know, even this year, they're talking about, uh, these powers that be are wanting to create civil unrest in this nation. That's mm -hmm. why they're pumping mm -hmm. in all the people through the Southern mm -hmm. border. Yep. And, uh, and of course you've got Chinese staged in the North, thanks to the Canadian, mm -hmm. uh, prime minister there. Uh, Trudeau, and then down in the south, the Chinese have been working with the uh, the cartel mm -hmm. to be able to uh, have manpower <coughs> coming across yeah. the border to fight. Well, and, and we're we're doing all that. Yes, and and yes, we're and doing. We're it. funding. We it. are right. funding it. Yeah. Well, you are. You and me, taxpayers, right? Right. Because, <laughs> oh my gosh, even the crookedness behind that. Biden definitely. Biden had this brilliant idea that let the border just sit, let the mm -hmm. people come in, and everything. That because, was smart. Uh, from what it was, from what I understood on that issue, there is that there's going to be civil unrest in the nation, and they're afraid that the Democratic Party mm -hmm. might end up getting overrun. Mm -hmm. And 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 this is I don't say this to be any by no means to be mm -hmm. racist, but from the way they put it, is mm -hmm. that they're the, they're fearful that more of the black community mm -hmm. would end up overtaking the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. So they figured that if they brought the people from the southern border, they'll clash with the black community. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the black community has no idea that mm -hmm. their own there's people in power that mm -hmm. are fighting against them. Well, it's and smart. They don't even know it. It's smart. I mean, if I wanted, if I could keep you guys divided, you're never going to fight me. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is how they use the environmental, social, and governance score, right? This right. is how they use the Great Reset, is they're going to say, hey, you know, I mean, imagine going to a gas station and you fill up and you know it takes about $75 to fill up and the pump stops at $41 because you've used your credit. All they're doing is creating more and more divide. I tell people this all the time on my channel. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're an atheist. I don't care if you're black or white or green. I don't care. Let's get together yes. because yes. together we're going to kick their ass. That's yes. right. They can't hang. But that's we got to stand together. And that's what we talked about earlier at lunch. Yeah. You know, yes. Pre instead of preaching division, no, you know, if I see you two are not getting along about something, but then in, on, you know, on Facebook or YouTube in the comments or something, but yet you have similarities. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? and, I, and I can come in and say, wait, you Focus guys, you, you guys both like to raise chickens or you both like gardening. Whatever. Why are you guys arguing about dogs? Mm -hmm. Okay, you right. disagree, agree agree to disagree and yeah. move on. No, Focus on the similarities because, uh, help me out, what was the story yeah, of the Matt sticks? Yeah, Matt was telling us telling the the about a situation like that. He saw on Facebook where this this family were feuding over one issue there, but he saw that on, there were two different people, but he saw on their different Facebook pages, one this one here like gardening, this one here like gardening as well. And he, so he goes back to him and he says, look, you guys ought to get together about right. gardening. Right, right. <laughs> And, and it yeah. helped calm that situation. And that's the same thing, even like when, you know, you have to be bold enough to say, okay, this is what they're doing to try to target the black community or the Hispanic community, mm -hmm. whatever the yeah. case may be, so that the communities can understand mm -hmm. that they're being manipulated, you know, yep. so that they can get educated and know how to fight back yep. and not allow that to happen. So like you said, mm -hmm. Rowdy, is, is the thing is, is it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, or, no. or Chinese, or Muslim, or what religion you believe, mm -hmm. it's coming together 
because as a nation, we're going to have to make a stand. Yep. Uh, and this is the other, another thing too, and it's a different issue, but this is why you see too, they're targeting, you know, our amendments, uh, you mm-hmm. know, second amendment, they, mm-hmm. they want to disarm this nation. Mm-hmm. You know, they're trying to disarm the nation because yes. they're getting ready to try to, <coughs> to, to destroy it. So yep. they want to make sure you have no way to defend yourself before yep. that happens. Yep, guaranteed. If they, if they successfully remove the second amendment and then we go along with it, it's game, set, match. Yeah. The Second Amendment is the only credible threat to a tyrannic government. That's why it was created. It wasn't for hunting and fishing. I promise you. It was right. so we could stand up. It says, you know, in our basic, you know, principles that we have the right as a people to replace or abolish our government if it no longer serves us. And the fact of the matter hasn't served us in many, many years. That's right. They only serve special interest, right. interest groups and but, all the elite class. But, but along guys, the way. they're the few or the many. We don't even we don't have to pick up anything. All we have to do is stand up and say no. That's right. No, you're not doing it. I don't care what you do to me. Tough luck, big guy. Yeah, the, the, that's you, it. You see the meme going around on no. social media of the uh, what was it, the Pixar movie with the grasshoppers were running the ants, and yep. and he says, well, "What if all of us ants stood up one day?" Mmm. Because there's way yeah, more ants right. than grasshoppers. Yep. yep. We and can do this. That's exactly right. We can and do that, this, and that's what is, that's what it really will take. And that's yeah. what revolutions yeah. in the past have taken, right? Mm-hmm. Is when there's enough of the people say, hey, even if they don't have any weapons, enough of them pick, just, okay, hey, we're all going to stand up yeah. today. We're not going to work. Beat us, kill us, whatever. Okay, you're on to the big part right there. You yeah. know, you, we talk about this all the time, but and I know there's a lot of people that have watched the, the movie Atlas Shrugged or read the book Atlas Shrugged. Which movie? Atlas Shrugged, Myron Rand. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a, 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 it's a wonderful book. You need to read it. But anyway, it's about successful people learning that the system no longer served them. And so they took their productivity out of the system. It's called going galt in the book. And we have to go galt. We have to take our productivity to serve our purposes instead of serving theirs. I worked for 25 years in the financial industry and I made people hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Big money. Imagine if I would have applied that energy. Imagine if I would have applied those resources into benefiting freedom, which is what's next for me. Exactly. (laughs) Yes. Exactly. That's that's what we need in yep. this nation is freedom. I'm in. Because otherwise, it is what going else? down the toilet. What else matters? You know, they said that if there shall be trouble, let it be in my time, so my children know peace. That's it's not just this point. nation, Stephen. Oh, it's no, the it's, world. It's, it's humanity. It's humanity. It, you're right. Think, think of the global. problems we can solve when as we're united. Because we're not solving any problems divided. Mm-hmm. No. And then that's when we're stuck on the pharmaceuticals and we're stuck on the public education system. Mm-hmm. We're stuck on, oh, you know, roll. whatever lies that they tell us. But when we're united, we can solve all these problems. All of them. All of them. We don't need them. Mm-hmm. They're a wart. I have no, I would have no reason to go to war with a foreign country. No. <laughs> no. Exactly. Even if their ideology is different exactly. than mine, as long as they're not harming me or, or, you know, harming someone else that I feel like I need to stand up for. Um, it's we're such a we're scam. the ones funding all the world wars that go on around the nation. In fact, I have yeah. friends in a lot of these foreign countries that are supposedly our enemies that I talk to you online or otherwise through networks that we can, can't can wait for the day that we could come see each other. Exactly. Exactly. Because we have so many things in common. We we just want to be left alone. We want to raise our children. We want to you know wake up in freedom. Mm-hmm. That's right. Humanity is not that dissimilar around the, the world. We're, it we is are the a same. Elect few elite mm-hmm. that are running the entire show. And by division, yes. by, by all of you people in the comments, sometimes I see you arguing with each other. If you get along, you're stronger. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and we, I don't just mean your channel, I mean all these channels. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Channel too. Mm-hmm. And I think it's important too that we tell everybody, and I know they know this, but so we stress this you cannot go fight effectively. If you have to ask permission for all of your needs, that's right. Mm -hmm. Your ability to fight is zero. If you have to ask permission for all of your needs. That is so true. Oh, it's a hundred percent true. We call that stroke. We call it stroke stroke in my world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No, I'm just amazed. I mean, this is amazing what you have done. Mm -hmm. Built home of grade. Mm -hmm. Free and, man. I'm free. Right? Yep. So it's very... And, and community is And well. community. So yep. this is very inspiring. So yep. thank you for letting us know about this mm-hmm. so our audience can learn. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot to learn. Mm-hmm. Yes. We do lot. need a community. Mm, that's, super that, that's important. That's what, what's missing, I think, yep. because that's what's difficult when you are just alone. Yeah. And Roddy said there is a lot of communities in yes. Tennessee already. It's just a matter of... I can connect you. With them. Okay. Exactly. I can connect you. I won't do it here, 
but right. I can absolutely connect you. Now tell the people again how they can find you yeah. and, uh, and, and, and so that people can follow the work that you're doing yeah. and get connected and same as well, Matthew, with yourself as well. Please. Yeah. So for me, uh, my YouTube channel is Life Done Free. Um, I also have a Facebook page, Life Done Free. I also have a website, Life Done Free. Um, but equally important to all of those is freesteading.com, which is where we will build these communities. If you go in there, there's a state page in Tennessee, and there are all kinds of people in Tennessee in there talking, chatting, trying to figure out how do we yoke up as a community? How do we do commerce together? How do we do these things in a peaceful, respectful, ungovernable way? Mm -hmm. Right? And, and I about... You respect each other's differences of course. in faith. Religion, that, that's important yep. because uh, I notice like on our channel, people mm -hmm. will argue over doctrines mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't do it that. divides them so yes. much and then they can't get together. It's not yes. the 1600s anymore. We're not, we're not entering the 30 year war. Yes. Right? Well, right. I, but right. I think then there, there's another point in that is, is let's suppose for the moment that, that Christianity is the right way and it's the only way. Let's just suppose this for the moment. If, you, if, if your message is that strong, bring the Muslim brother in bring the Hindu brother in, bring the Buddhist brother in and allow him to be exposed to that teaching because you arguing is pushing him away and it's creating divide. Right. And that's true. Let's say we tend to Muslim. follow success Just as humans, live, right? Live a life. That's and right. That will make the that's difference. That's right. I welcome yes. you, Muslim brother. I welcome you, Buddhist brother. I welcome you, Hindu brother. I welcome you. It doesn't atheist. matter. What, I don't atheist. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. Let's get together and tell them no. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, because we we had actually had a testimony from a, from a guy who's Hindu. He's been watching my yep. program. Love it. And just the news, you know, it was just the news. And he says, you know, Steve, he said, he wrote me, he said, I've been watching you for years now. He said, and then one day out of nowhere, he said, you get to the end, you felt so passionate about what was going on that you, you shared with us about Jesus and that, you know, mm -hmm. we really should, you know, consider this. He said, it moved me to such a point. He said that I ended up giving my own life to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I have, believe now the way you believe. So imagine what would have happened if you would have told him what he believed was a lie. Exactly. You would have never reached him. him away. No. You would have turned him away and he'd have ran the other way and you'd have created a further divide, which means now you're part of the problem. Right. That's right. And that's so what happens. You have that's to exactly what happens. We have to use live. our lives yeah. and apply law of love. Yes. Because truth is truth, right? Yes. Truth is truth. I mean, think about it. Look at what Jesus did to begin with. When, 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 he would, when the multitude came together, he healed the sick and he fell. Yes. Yeah. I, I've always found it fascinating that... You asked them what they believed. No, right? he, <laughs> he, he healed the sick and he right. fed them. And then they listened. Then they wanted to listen to what he had to say because he could do these things. I always found it awesome that Jesus didn't hang out in the churches. He hung out with the rejects. There you what go. does that tell there you? you. There you what go. does that tell you right there? Right? I'm in. Right. The outcast. Me and that guy be buds. There you go. <laughs> right? There you go. Yeah. He was oh, not gosh. among the elites for yes. sure. And elites right. were the Pharisees of right. the time. And he just wasn't right. them. Right. Although, if they welcomed him, he did go yep. to their house. And he didn't yep, send the apostles to, yes. the, to the easy cities. And he said, "Places like, well, they're going to kill me if I go there." He's like, right. "That's why you need to go there, <laughs> right?" You know, the one thing that I pointed out just recently too, because I was thinking that's awesome. About it, I, said, I said, "You know, if you think about it," I said, "In the days when he was here, the Pharisees were hooked up with." The, I said, "They were controlling the political leaders of their day." Yeah, mm -hmm. and and by them controlling it, they end up putting him to death as a result mm -hmm. of that. I said, mm -hmm. but I said, think about it today then. I said, look who's controlling the government today. I said, mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the same type of society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's nuts. worked. It's yes. worked. Yes. The, 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 you know, divide and conquer has worked since Macedonia. Yes. Wash, wash, and rinse, so repeat. they never right? change. They keep doing it. Yep. So wash, rinse, is, repeat. Is, right. We have to make that stand. Yep. They're going to do so. it with the digital dollar here pretty quick. They're going to repeat the whole Nixon thing. Watch. Yes. Remember how Nixon said, I'm removing the, the um, United the States standard. from the gold standard to protect it from the speculators. 1971. Right, remember that? 15. Okay, so now they're going to come out and they're going to say that we're going to uh, go to the digital dollar to protect America from the banks. The banks will be the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. And and I, I, and and it's coming. They're going to take, instead of bailing the banks out, they're going to nationalize the banks. Yes, and they are. To take yep. all of their assets. You're 100%. And then if you go, 100%. go look, there's a, there's a website that has a lots and lots of graphs. Uh, WTF happened in 1971.com. Mm -hmm. And it's just graphs that show. Here's what happened to investments. Yep. Here's what happened to yep. wage earnings. I'm out. And it's going to repeat again. So if you look at that, you can see who's going to lose. Mm -hmm. yes. It's not going to be the big money. No. Mm -hmm. No, they're not going to lose. They're, mm -hmm. All they're doing is they're sucking up all the wealth to themselves. Mm -hmm. And when they go to the digital dollar, they'll rob what you did yeah, have. Right. 
that was sitting there for themselves. And yeah. yes, they're they're because we as long as we play in their system, we are the slaves. That's yes. right. Quit asking we, we permission. Are the sheep. We are the cogs in the wheels. We are, you know, we so are. It's, it's are, better are, to have your money and asset. Hundred percent. To where and you spend can it, trade. And spend it with like-minded people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what do you think of gold and silver? Because you know what mm -hmm. has happened before mm -hmm. when the economy uh, fell in the history mm -hmm. and they banned the silver. They banned the yeah. use of gold and yeah. silver. And you can't eat the gold and silver. Or some people think, oh, I will trade. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can't eat it, maybe. <laughs> so um, what do you think of that? Yeah, so this might sound crazy coming from a guy who comes from the financial world. I have zero money in the market today. Zero. Okay, I took it all out. I like gold and silver for someone who's living in an apartment, per se. You know, you need a place to store your wealth. It's not such a bad idea, I guess, but um, I'd rather put it in land. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just would. I mean, I think land is the... said the same thing I, before I as well. I was telling yep. Steve, uh, money should be put into real estate and land. Yeah. I tell people all the time on my channel, be asset rich and income poor. <laughs> if you can master that equation, pretty hard to come after it. Asset rich, income poor. I, I, I agree to some degree, but I, I think that having some gold and silver is important. A little bit? Or? Well, I have I, both. You know, in 2020, I don't remember what month it was, but I, I follow Mike Maloney, goldsilver.com. And, and, you know, I've, he had the, the Hidden Secrets of Money um, series, which I think is a great series to teach you what money is and, and learn about how mm -hmm. the economy works. And he, wrote, he made that like 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. But somewhere around 20, 2020, he was, you know, we were in the, the heat of the, the coronavirus thing, you know what I'm talking about. And um, he said, you know, I want you to invest in gold and silver, but at the end, if this gets really bad, you know, you got to live the other side of this mm -hmm. for that gold and silver to have value. Yep. You can't eat it. And, it. and it spoke lines. And, you know, and I believe he moved down to like Puerto Rico or something. You know, he took it seriously, you know, and got has right, land with the right. farming community involved and stuff like that. So that speaks volumes, right, about a mm -hmm. person who has lots of wealth, lots of gold and silver, but he also went and bought farmland mm -hmm. and has farmers because, you know, he's an elderly man. And yes. so on the other hand, you can trade in it. And I think that some of the other things that some of the macro economists that I listen to, it holds true because there may come a time where things get crazy and you might trade with a neighbor you know, a stack of metal, precious metal that fits in your hand for his title of his land because he wants to get out. He wants to leave. I don't know. I mean, it's like anything else. Hedge some percentage of your income in that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I fully agree with what Diverse. you're saying about, yeah. about having the, yeah. the assets. I have some gold and silver, but I promise you I would not have any if what I was doing was asking permission for everything. Mm -hmm. right. 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 If right. I still that's had a, a mortgage, point. I wouldn't have any because that's where I would put my money. I mean, I just would. I'm, you know, I have no mortgage, no car payment, no water bill, no electric bill. No, so, I mean, I have none of that. Then after that, okay, now where do I find more assets? Because right. I think I think I don't think we can be effective at all if we're asking permission for everything. So, I mean, I think that'd be my advice: is gold and silver. I own gold and I own silver, for the record. Mm -hmm. um, but I would not do it at the cost of being free. I mean, I just wouldn't do it right. personally. But here's the cool thing: we don't all have to agree. That's, <laughs> right. that's it's right. fine, and you know. The thing is, right. we, we we live near each other, and he's he's not fired any tomahawk missiles not yet. at me for nope. disagreeing with him. No, nope. and we disagree fairly regularly, but it's sure. good. It's good, honest. And you have tomahawks, right? I do. Okay, no, right. no, I do not. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Only the hawks overhead. I think that that healthy disagreement is healathy. I mean, I think, you know, me and Matt disagree on lots of points, but we we're also very close on our, our comfort zone, right? It's fine. That's, that's right. If we that's sit around, we all just agree together, like, oh, well, you know, we, that's a, the preacher singing to their <laughs> preaching to the choir, right? That's what they call that. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to get anywhere. So yeah. we have to disagree to, to grow and learn. Disagree is But to have respect and not be divided. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. It's fine. Mm. Life's great. Lots coming up, guys. Listen, we just want to thank you for joining us here, and mm -hmm. and Rowdy Matthew, we thank you for oh, of course inviting yeah. us out, Thanks getting for coming to, to my home. see the place, <laughs> and getting to uh, learn so much and to share in the testimony Amen. that you have as well, because that speaks volumes to the people that are listening yeah. Amen. tonight. And this is something they need to know, yeah. because uh, the world could change very radically in a very short period of yes. time. Yes, it will. And, uh, and 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 I don't say that to to cause you to panic or to be fearful. But to be mindful uh, and and just make steps, take steps uh, each day that you come along, Amen. Uh, so that if that time does come, it doesn't catch you unaware. Yep. So, Amen. Anyway. Amen. So thank you, thank you guys for listening. God bless you.